everyone, I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com and today's topic is Chernobyl and nuclear power. The question is, Lynn, I just finished watching Chernobyl. The devastation to the site and surrounding area was profound. How many years, if ever, will it take for the earth to heal from this horrendous human mistake? I sincerely believe nuclear power plants to all be accidents waiting to happen, especially the ones built next to the ocean or in earthquake prone areas like Los Angeles, Fukushima, etc. The official Chernobyl death count is 31. Fukushima is zero. I do not believe this to be true. I feel the numbers are much higher. What damage is still being done by these reactors? Are whales and marine life dying in the Pacific due to radiation poisoning? Where, the, where will the next catastrophe be? I've read that California drought was weather manipulated by our government to keep the radiation rain from California crops. Is the power plant still leaking? What is the truth and how best to protect or overcome? So a lot of questions here. Very um, powerful and interesting topic that in some way kind of affects all of us. So I thought this was important and I wanted to look at this and in my mind I broke it down into parts to focus on different areas to see what would come through rather than jumbling it all up and then having it all mix matched coming to me so the first part i wanted to look at the deaths and the injuries that were related to this and i do get that in general just in general people controlling these plants they don't want to evoke fear so they only try to promote the positive while they minimize the negative and are very dismissive of the bad things that happen and so when tragedy occurs they report the absolute minimum and I get that they focus on the human error aspect because sometimes the plant is to blame too. It could be they have no budget for repairs. Maybe they don't want to adequately train their people. Maybe uh, their maintenance schedule, they try to cut back on it in order to save on cost. There can be other factors but it's really easy to blame human error because that can be dismissed. It can be, they can shift their liability. They can shift it from being the company to the people. So I got that that happens a lot. And when they look at death count, I heard this phrase that they only look at the immediate death count. They don't look at the long term because I get that Fukushima even now is still creating immune issues in people because of the, the radiation that's still floating out there between that and the marine life and then consuming foods, all these different things that have been affected by radiation. Immune things are still happening in different, they manifest in different ways. It's also caused uh, cancer, um, you know, it's, it's damaging the ecosystem. There's, there's a lot of trickle down effect so when they look at these immediate death counts yeah they're not really getting a full picture they get immediately what happened within a very tight time frame they're not looking at the long-term effects of what implications are really caused when these plants um, basically have have issues and so i see that chernobyl still feels dead and even things that grow there they're tainted with radiation so they're is some life there but it's mutated or something's not right and it is true that a lot of it's half lifed down but the reality is is it's still there it's still lingering and fukushima still feels very fresh they're trying to mitigate the damage um, by creating this man-made weather especially on the west coast droughts in california are a perfect example of this and i've done readings and i I searched my blog and I tagged some old posts that I did when this was first going on and some of them go back as far as uh, 2014, like April of 2014 when this was still pretty new. And even then, they immediately started manipulating weather because what I get they're doing is if they can prevent a drought, not only are they preventing the radiation from falling to the earth in the form of precipitation, they are trying to find a way to neutralize the radiation so it doesn't destroy all the soil and the growing potential on that west coast side. So there's a couple of different factors they're playing with, but the weather manipulation is huge and very important to 
buy them time and let some of this dissipate so the concentrations aren't so high in one area. So yeah, there is a lot of stuff going on there. The oceans, they do feel toxic. And yes, the marine life is affected. I do see that Fukushima, uh, I don't see that it's still leaking. So I feel like they did somehow get that part under control, but the damage has already been done. And it does appear that it's been contained on the land in regards to the physical power plant. Uh, the best way to support your body for this is to try to be mindful and constantly keep yourself detoxed to the best of your ability. I mean, we all try. Um, it's near impossible to be perfect at it. Just think about it and do what you can. The, the less toxic you are, the less effect other toxins have. So just try to keep yourself as cleaned out as what you can. If you feel you're experiencing effects of radiation, you might want to look at iodine tablets. And I did note on here, you know, I'm not a doctor. I'm not trying to give you medical advice. Do your research, even consult your doctor. Uh, but I do see that the iodine tablets can be helpful. And honestly, your power of your mind and the collective are really effective ways to combat this. And that's kind of a group mentality to heal uh, a group force that's out there. And that was really all I had. Uh, please send love and light to that area. These events are horrible and they affect, infect you know, hundreds if not thousands if not more people. Uh, so just a little bit of love and light can go a long way. And in the end, that's all I have. Again, this is Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com. Thanks. Bye.